Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Groceryland. This week, you are going to see that I went a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Uh, I don't have a fixed budget this week, but I, I typically um, run approximately the same amount for groceries, approximate, but we did a, a Costco run this week. Uh, I also redeemed some PC Optimum points and I got a flash food box. I'm really happy with the groceries that I got. Uh, and I, I totally own and understand that when I do a Costco run, it's going to be more than normal. A Costco run alone is what my regular groceries would be approximately. However, the Costco stuff is bulk items and they'll last for quite some time. So check out the groceries um, and don't forget to let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, I am at Sobeys. I saw an ad on a site I follow. So follow sites, people, um, like-minded people that want to save money. They all like to share ideas. So I saw this um, deal on flavored water. Now, I'm not a big flavored water my drinker myself, but the handsome one loves it. So I thought I would go in and see if there was a way that I could get a deal on these. Um, the bottles are on for $1.50 each because I'm a scene card holder. But if I buy two bottles, I'll get $2 250 points back and that is equal to two dollars and fifty cents there is going to be bottle deposit on them um, I think there's probably going to be tax on them because they would consider it like a ready to eat or ready to consume item um, but I'm going to try my hack so if I bought eight bottles um, that would give me the bonus 250 points uh, to sorry, four times, which would total a thousand points. So I'm going to redeem a thousand points that I already have. And I'm just going to see like, what does this total out to in cost per bottle? We'll see. The handsome one deserves a treat, but these are, I've never bought this kind before. So we're going to check it out. So I have been up and down the pop row. I cannot find those drinks. I have already been in the juice aisle because I thought they might be there. So I'll try again. I don't see them yet those aren't it that's pop I just don't know maybe they would be in with like oh wait maybe down here I think I see them on the top shelf yeah I see them they're there bunch of different flavors so we are one dollar and 49 cents with your scene card buy two get um 250 points so we are going to try this out okay yeah excited salad kits taylor farms on for 3.99 um i know that you can get them two in a pack for 7.99 at costco but you get two of the same and costco is not local to me so i think we're going to get some salad kits oh yeah guacamole crunch that might be good here are the potatoes. Curious where these are from. Product of Canada. Okay. Okay. I'm good with these. Yay. $5.99. $19.99 minus $5. So $14.99 for two bags of 625 gram shredded cheese. It's a moderately okay buy considering that I normally buy the blocks, they're 400 grams each, so 4, 8, 1,200, this is 1,250, um, and, and I hope to get them on sale for $5 or less. Um, so these are pre-shredded, it's not lactose free, but this, this is okay, and the bags are, the bags are pretty big. Guys, I just want to prepare you in advance. I'm going to say the total and it's going to be a little bit more than what you're used to from me. The reason is I was at Costco. No, I didn't go crazy at Costco, but I did buy some items that are um, bulk packs that things that are a little more pricey than what I would normally spend. But these things will last longer. Also, I did a scene point hack at Sobeys to get a special treat for the handsome one. You ready for the total? 
$108.62. And I also redeemed some PC Optimum points. Let's get started. My first, um, my first items here are some sparkling ice flavored water. I'm not a big flavored water drinker myself. I'm, I just like to stick to regular water. But the handsome one loves this stuff. And I saw someone post a deal and I thought, you know, this could be a hack. I'm going to check it out. I happened to be pretty much directly in front of Sobeys when I found out about it. So Sobeys had these drinks on for $1.49 if you swiped your scene card. Well, I think that's pretty crazy expensive for one drink, but that's just me and these are specialty drinks. So I'm just going to pretend that that is not where my thought process is. So $1.49 and the bonus was if you purchased two of them, you'd get 250 bonus scene points. Well, if you made four of those purchases, so you purchased two of them four times, that would give you a thousand bonus scene points, and that's the equivalent of ten dollars at scene, ten dollars back. So the hack is I already have a thousand scene points. So I went, I picked out the eight, I went through the cash. Um, it totaled with the taxes and the deposits. So there's a 10 cent deposit on every bottle here in Nova Scotia. And because these are ready to, to drink, um, convenience item, there's tax on them as well. So the total for eight bottles came to $14.51. I redeemed the thousand seam points that I already had. And that brought the total down to $4.51, uh, making it 56 cents a drink. So I'm not sure what size like canned drinks are but I'm pretty sure that they're not 505 milliliters so I feel like this is getting close to double not quite double what two cans of sparkling water would be so 56 cents each and I decided to go back and get another eight so I did the hack two times uh, I don't think I have the receipt right here but I showed it in another uh, video. So $4.51 times two. So that worked out to $9.02. So these are some special treats um, for the handsome one moving into the nicer weather. I also shopped at Sobeys for potatoes. So we were down um, to no potatoes. We had none left. I made a big uh, chicken dinner last week and I used every last potato I had for mashed potatoes. So I was watching for the flyers to come on. Nothing um, nothing in the 10 pound range was on sale. So I normally like to get 10 pounds of potatoes for $3.99, uh, but they actually had 15 pounds of potatoes for $5.99, which works out to the same cost. Um, I just needed to buy it in the 15 pound bag. So $5.99 for the potatoes. They are Canada number one grade. So I'm happy about that. And they also had Taylor Farms salads on sale. I was really excited about those. Um, I do like getting the Taylor Farms salads at Costco. They're always a much better price. It's $7.99 for two, but they come together in a pack and it's two of the same kind. So I was excited. I wanted to get this kind, the guacamole crunch and the dill. But when I was there, um, they were totally sold out of the dill. So perhaps that might be something that later on, if I'm in town in the week, that I might be able to pick it up. And that actually works better for me anyways, because then I don't have two salads purchased at the same time needing to be eaten up right away. So the total there was $9.98. I also shopped at Foodland um, before the flyer changed over. I wanted to get some butter. Uh, they had butter on for scene members for $4.99. And that's a good buy in these times. Uh, I always like to pick up a couple bricks when they are on sale. Just I put them in the freezer to stock up. There's nothing worse than realizing that you are out of something that you regularly use and then need to go to the store and pay gasp full price i hate that so i got three blocks of the butter for 4.99 and they also had um, chicken strips which we don't have any chicken strips and if i'm not home this is like a default something that the handsome one uh can easily just throw together but also we sometimes like to cut these up and put them on top of salads so it's not like i don't like chicken strips 
I just don't eat them as much as him. So my total at Foodland was $19.96. And then let's get into my Costco purchases. Um, my total at Costco was $56.95. So that's where the bulk of the money, that's where the bulk of it came from. Um, We've been doing a lot of work and I say we very loosely, uh, the handsome one is pretty much doing all of the work uh, and his dad has been coming and assisting him and I make lunch and they often say like, oh no, I'm not hungry right now. Um, and so they've skipped a couple meals. I, I just wanted to have some protein bars in the house to have something quick and light but also something nutrient dense so these were on sale um, i had a special coupon that you had to scan the coupon it didn't automatically scan at the cash um, and that goes for all of the things that i had coupons today for uh, these were on for 13 dollars 99 and there's 42 bars in there um, so i think that is pretty fabulous for protein uh, I got another one of these trail mix, and this really jacks the price up. A uh, twenty one ninety nine. These little these little packages. Um, they have trail mix and M and M's, and I I know that I can buy them cheaper in just a big bag. Um, but portion control is a big issue in the house, and mindlessly eating them while watching tv is a big issue so for me it is more valuable to buy them in these pre-done packages and i love these uh if i am on the road and it's going to be over like a work time i find these are really filling um plus i really like them so those were 21.99 uh, the cheese. Now, this is interesting. First, let me do the crackers. So the crackers, I know I just bought crackers at Costco, but we're getting into the season where we might be having company and we might be doing charcuterie boards. Um, these are two packages, individually packaged inside the big package. So two packs of 425 grams. And I thought the, the um, handsome one might like these. They are jalapeno crackers. So I thought we would give these a try. And these were on for $10.99. Same price as the other crackers that I got last week. I also got asparagus. So this is a great big pack of asparagus for $5.99. And this is a bit different. Um, these are really seem giant compared to the ones that I normally buy that are just like little skinny asparagus. And then I got into these two items here um, that came in dual or double packs so i contacted my sister and said hey are you interested in going splits on and i named a few things off and she said she was interested in going splits on the cheese and also on the spinach dip so the spinach dip for the two packages uh, was on sale for 6.99 so each pack was 350 so she took one and i have one out of my budget for 350 the cheese and I'm really glad that she wanted to split on this um, because I would like to actually get some mozzarella cheese. So this is 625 grams. The two pack of them were on sale with the scanned coupon for $14.99, which made this bag $7.50. I feel that's a pretty reasonable price considering when you buy, when I buy the blocks on sale, they are 400 grams. So that's just at the regular grocery store, the big blocks, 400 grams. The shreds, the bags of shreds, um, so the specialty flavors, those are 320 grams. This is double, so it's like the, like getting two packs of the stuff from the grocery store. And I was at Costco, so that made it convenient for me as well. And there's something to be said for convenience. I don't mind going to a bunch of different stores, but I didn't plan on going to any more stores and I still hadn't gotten cheese. So she went splits on that. And I forgot to ask her if she wanted to go splits on these hot dog buns. Uh, they were $3.99, which I think is a phenomenal price. Um, and there are two 12 packs inside of there. So there's the possibility that somebody might be getting one of these or maybe we'll just be putting them in the freezer. So... Oh, one more thing, the pepperoni. So this is a great big one kg pack of mild pepperoni. And that was 
again, big bulk purchases. These items are going to last a while. So yes, it was a huge chunk, like ha literally half of the money that I spent, um, but they're going to last way longer than one week's worth of groceries. So very happy with these. Um, and then I wasn't planning on going to Superstore, but because I was in Halifax um, at Costco, I decided just to check the flash food uh, items for the stores near me and the Bedford store um, had some really good flash food items. So they had, I got a flash food box and I'll open that separately after. So $5 for the box. Uh, these were on for $3 and each of these salami sticks was on for 99 cents. So say $10 here for those flash food items. And then I decided I'm going to redeem some points. Most of the time when I buy steak, I buy marked down steaks. They're of low to moderate quality and we need to marinate them, um, usually like marinate them overnight to make sure that they're nice and not dry um, and then we barbecue them they had t-bone steaks on sale this week and so i decided to splurge and spend some points uh, these steaks were 15.59 they had the tortilla chips on for two dollars a bag and that's just a crazy price for tortilla chips like they haven't been that price in a long time and, and I didn't really want to spend any money money at the Loblaws chain, um, but I had lots of points that I could redeem. And we haven't had any sour cream in quite some time, and I wanted some lactose-free sour cream. So the grand total of those items was $30.41. I redeemed $30 of loyalty and paid $0.41. Cents. Oh, Greybeard is excited. I started putting everything away. I, I totally forgot the pork loin. In that redemption um, at Superstore, I also bought a pork loin. Those were on sale. This was within the $30 points, the first redemption that I did. Um, and this pork loin was $5.43. I'm pretty excited about that. We haven't had pork loin in a while, and that's a really good buy. Very good buy. Okay, here we are, ready for the on unboxing of the flash food box. This was from the Bedford Atlantic Superstore in Nova Scotia. Um, and also, I had this setting out on the counter. You might have seen it. This was included in my $108 total. I bought jalapenos at Avery's for $2.30. So let's get to the unboxing. Let's check it out. It's a pretty awesome box. So we've got one, two three bundles of radishes and you guys know I love radishes oh my goodness okay so oh wow I didn't know that was in there okay so it's also got celery oh two bundles of green onions I know I've had these before and I've asked people what in the world are these I think it's fennel if I remember correctly so two fennel one two three four five green peppers and two massive carrots um i thought the boxes i got last week were good but um this is pretty that's pretty phenomenal i'm pretty excited about these see i got some awesome stuff I'm actually really happy I did the redemptions at Superstore. We don't often, we often buy steaks. I get them on sale or get them as markdowns. We don't often buy higher quality steaks. So that's really nice for us to have um, occasionally. So two redemptions, one for us um, for this week and one to go in the freezer for at some point in the future uh, and you will be happy to know that my sister did take the other um, package of those hot dog buns so that worked out very well for me it just makes sense I mean there's just two of us and a lot of the items um, that come bulk by that might be a perishable or what I consider perishable it's just too much for us like sure um, spinach dip we love it but we'd be eating spinach dip every day for like a month to get 
through to and then you don't love it so much anymore because you eat so much of it so it was really great that I was able to go halves on those items um, with her and I literally have to drive straight past her house to get to my house so it's convenient for me to drop them off everything works out